words cannot begin to describe the man, the myth, that is Gus Rosado. So I'm just chilling with the wife, watching some TV, and I was thinking about the time when uh, you and Tara first met, and you brought her back to the Notchess house for the three of us to play some pool together. We ended up playing a game or two, and all of a sudden you got tired, and Tara got tired. So y'all went to bed, ended up going back to your room and playing Giddy Up while I watched some TV on the couch by myself. But I'm not going to bring that up right now. What I do want to mention is the fact that the very first time that Zoe got drunk on Bud Light, you actually gave it to her right before Tara came home and blamed it on me. Boom. Got you back. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, and now Gus Rosado. So Gus, remember the time that we started a company together called JG Glow Concepts? It had a lot of gloves, a lot of glasses, a lot of fedora. A lot of tie, we put a bunch of money into it, and then in a year's time, we only sold two shirts. It was legendary. I think we need to bring back JG Glow Concepts 2. What do you think? As the legend of the man grew, so did his waistline. But first, join me as we take a look back at the humble beginnings of the man that we all know now as Goose. Tell me, how did Gus get the nickname Goose? Well, as I remember, um, he always thought it was uh, from the movie Top Gun. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! I think it was because he liked to grab uh, some of the girls' butts but also some of the boys. One of my fondest memories of Gus when we were growing up um, is when he would get a kick out of throwing me on the ground, grabbing my feet, and sticking his foot into my nuts. Then he would begin to apply pressure and uh, wouldn't let up until I would whistle for him, which was extremely hard to do at the time. So Gus, on your 40th birthday, I would love to return the favor. Happy birthday, old man, and I hope you remember how to whistle. Though it was after my time, I've heard many stories about the famed Natchez House. Recently, samples of the infamous sofa were sent to a lab for testing. Here are the results. Test analysis of the sofa material obtained from the Natchez House came up as all honor roll for the hepatitis test. It got two A's, a B, and a C. There were certain unidentifiable strands of STDs that we haven't seen before or never want to see ever again. Another thing that we found is a unique enzyme called testicular detesticulase, something that you don't want to get on you or, you know, they shrink, dry up, and fall off anyway. Here it is. If it's blue, it's got to be good, bitches. This is Heisenberg signing out, y'all. However, it wasn't all sunshine and farts at the Natchez house. Area. Hey, I remember Gus. Oh my gosh, that guy is so amazing. I remember we busted him twice for a bestiality. The things he did with that giraffe and that goat. Oh my gosh, never seen it before. Through it all, Gus always remained a class act and went out with friends. Always, always kept his composure. So Gus, do you remember the dog story? And I'm not talking about bark like a dog. Nope, bark like a big dog. It's a completely different story. Talk about the night you and Jared and I were coming back from the Greenboro downtown, just walking to our car. Three of us just chatting along, and all of a sudden, you hear, just hold up, hold up, guys. Let me back up for a second. Do you hear a dog? Jared, yeah, it's coming from that car over there. Gus, oh no, 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 no. You get right up to that car window. Who you think you are? You talking to me? Huh? Oh, big bad dog, you want to go? I'm going to take this off right here. Huh? You want to go? Yeah, what are you going to do with me, man? 
What are you gonna do to me? Come on, what you gonna do? Come on, why don't you come out of this car right here? Here, let me take this off. Come here, dog. Come on. Woof, woof, woof. If you're lucky, you'll get to fight a dog after the party. And if you're really lucky, I might just slam you in the head with a VCR just for good old time's sake. As with every meteoric rise, eventually, there comes the fall. I'm in my car with Gus and Andy. Just got back from the 80s show, all wearing our Top Gun t-shirts, aviators, and cowboy hat. And go. Well, I sure did have fun tonight, Andy and Gus. Thanks for that, Andy. Yeah, man, we need to do this more often. Gus, man, I'm telling you, those cowboy hats, glasses, and those shirts, that's how we get the ladies, man. That's how you get the ladies to talk to you. Hey, Andy, can, can you help me out of the car? Sure, man. Whew. All right. Gus fumbling with his keys, trying to get into the Notches house over here. Andy, hey, Gus, you okay? Yeah, Gus, you don't look so good. Oh. Gus fell down into the bushes. What should we do, Andy? Hell, I don't know. Just leave him there. Okay. Sucks to be him. So here's a good Gus story. So it was New Year's night, and we had gone to the bar for the night. And we decided to go home because it was after New Year's. And me and Margo find Tara standing outside, limping. And uh, we asked her what was wrong with her, and she said, oh, I twisted my ankle. I was wa walking, and I tripped over a curb and twisted my ankle, which was pretty funny. We had had a few drinks, if you will. So me and Margo said, oh, well, do you want us to take you home? We're going to get a cab. We'll take you. No, no, no. Tara says, no, I'm fine. No, really, I'm fine. I'm going to wait right here for Gus. And we got in the cab and left. About 15 minutes later, after we had gotten home, I get a call from Gus. And Gus says to me, when I say hello, he goes, I am going to gut you. You broke her ankle and left her for dead. And I said, what are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? Is Tara okay? He said, you broke her ankle and left her for dead. I'm going to gut you. That's what my brother said to me on New Year's. He apparently thought that we broke her ankle, left her on the side of the road for her to die. And so Gus was going to come find me and gut me. So, uh, Jason, tell me about the day the Gusser died. Oh, the day the Gusser died. What a great story. So it all happened downtown about seven years ago. It was me, Gus, and our good friend Andy. And Wait a minute, is that is that Tara coming in here? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Man, I don't know what kind of shampoo she uses, but her hair smells amazing. Hold on, I'll be right back. So, not many people actually know this, but Gus is actually internationally known. Viva la Mexico. Just check out these testimonials. Uh, do you know Gus? Gus? Excuse me, do you know who Gus is? Gus? Where's the boy? Do you know who Gus is? Gus? Achele Diot? Excuse me, do you know Gus? Gus? Now that he's an old fart, Gus has begun taking up old man activities, like golf. Ah, Tony, I see you're writing in the book again. Yeah, you know, it's funny how Gus tells people that this is for uh, the Puck Puck game. When really that sick bastard likes to keep track of how much his friends masturbate. I mean, look at this. All these married people have multiple pages. Hmm. So, Gus, here's to you on your 40th birthday. Hail to the king, baby. Yay! 
Happy 40th birthday, love. I hope it's a great year. You deserve it. Happy 40th birthday, y'all. <laughs> Gus, I'll never forget the day you came out of the closet. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Gus. He, he doesn't like you. Happy birthday, Gus. I love you. Okay. Happy 40th birthday, Gus. Uh, I found out today that I'm definitely not going to be able to make it to the party, and I'm very, very sorry we have a bunch of people coming to our house. But I thought in my stead I could have a recording of um, what's in my bag because I'm leaving work and I'm on my way out the door, and I know how much you like to play what's in my bag. So tonight... We have uh, my lesbian shoes, and then my straight girl shoes. Uh, two bottles of wine. I got a bowl that I brought my shrimp in earlier. Uh, my hairbrush. Uh, yeah. uh, another pair of shoes. Same koozie from the other day. And I think you already know about the gloves and the seven pairs of socks. And the two shirts. Um, so that's what's in my bag today. Uh, my purse is the same thing as the other day. Uh, so I hope you have an amazing birthday and I hope that everybody dressed in the 40s for you. Um, and I'll see you next week. Love you. Have a good night. Happy 40th birthday! Woo! Happy 40th. Viva la Mexico. You look every bit of 40 years old, maybe even 50. Lordy, Lordy, Gus is 40. Hey, come down to Domino's on North Church Street and I'll get you a pizza for 40% off. Happy birthday, man. Ah, Gus! I heard it's your Rumble Bumble 40th birthday! Make a lot of noise, have a ton of fun. Try to remember something. Now, it's going to be a great decade. Play hard. Love even harder. Laugh every day, man. Glad you were born. Oh, Gus, I wish you the best, man. Uh, it, it only gets uh, worse. Happy 40th birthday, Gus Rosado. A good friend and pal forever through and through. 40 years. Wow. About time to wheel your sorry ass down to Shady Acres. You know what? If you're lucky, we might get the ghost from the beach house to come up and keep you company at the retirement home. Hope you have a great day and celebrate it big time. You know, like we used to roll back in the day. And I uh, just want to let you know, Brandon's still an asshole. Good night. Hey Gus, I just want to wish you a very, very, very happy 40th birthday, man. Every time we go out, it's always an adventure. So, that being said, stop FaceTiming me when I need to take a shit. Happy, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, did Tara know about me yet? <laughs> happy birthday, Gus. I literally just flew in from Europe. Well, maybe not literally flew, but you know what I mean. Um, but can't wait to help celebrate with you tomorrow and congratulations on turning 40, woo! Okay. Happy birthday, Fort Yep, see, there you go. Happy 40th birthday, Gus. Ready for 40 of these? Where's the glitter? Come on. Can I get you a bottle of water? Happy birthday. <laughs> You're so old. If you acted your age, you'd die. Hey, guys. It's Chris. Happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful 40th. Don't party too hard. Adios. Hey, Gus. Happy birthday, man. Uh, sorry I couldn't be there in North Carolina to celebrate with uh, you and with everyone else, but um, Tony got a hold of me, and this is a great idea uh, in lieu of actually being there. Figured I'd record this short video just to say hi, say happy birthday, and when I'm in town next, I will uh, definitely hit you guys up and we can all hang out. Um, miss your light-up shirts and your light-up glasses and other pieces of clothes that light up. Uh, always a fun time. So take it easy, brother, and I'll see you later. So you got any birthday wishes for Gus? Make those lightning sticks extra special for you. 
Happy birthday, buddy. If you, if you, you are so old, you fought dust. We've had a lot of good times together, my friend. Such as this, dressing up for Castle Carnival, standing in the corner like a shadow. How about St. Patrick's Day? Going out for food and beverage with my little buddy, the lucky Irishman here. With our bling bling and a bow tie. How about SantaCon? Dressed in red with her little hats on. That was some crazy times as well. And last but not least, how about the Morse suit? How about wearing these where you can't see a damn thing when you're walking around in the bar and running into tables and chairs and whatnot? Anyway, I just wanted to say happy 40th birthday, Gus. It's an honor being your friend. Thanks.